the daily wake up. Visualize your future. Behave in ways needed to create your future. Execute your new behaviors to fulfill your mission. We are Mission Chasers. Good morning, gentlemen. This is John Vickers, owner of Explosive Performance Academy and creator of the Courageous Men program. We help men like you become the most elite versions of themselves through fitness, faith, family, and finances. And this is the daily wake up. Now, we all have these stories in our head of, of who we are, where we are, what we've done in the past, where we grew up. Like there are all types of different causes, I guess, and things of what we believe. So like we grow up, like for instance, from me, I grew up um, small town. Actually, I, I went to school in a different town than I grew up in. And uh, the, both, really both towns were, were small. There were a lot of kids in my school, but both towns were actually really small towns. Um, a lot of my family, so I grew up in a city called Whitmore Lake. A lot of my family just stayed in Whitmore Lake. They didn't um, didn't leave Whitmore Lake. Like my grandparents grew up in Whitmore Lake. My parents both grew up in Whitmore Lake. Aunts and uncles were all still in Whitmore Lake. Um, <clears throat> the they instilled a, a belief system, right? We, our parents distill a belief system, a core of values and a, a belief system of what we can and can't do and what, what is and isn't right. And, and just this, these stories, okay? We, we, we learn these stories from our family and, our, and the actions and the things that we do throughout our life. My, my dad um, was a plumber and my mom didn't work. So blue collar, all right? Everybody was like, I was taught to work hard. Okay, work hard. My grandpa owned an excavation business and he actually, he made some good money throughout, throughout his career. Um, <clears throat> towards the tail end of his life, that money was gone for the most part. He. He owned a couple properties, but um, he didn't necessarily leave a legacy for his family behind him. <clears throat> I also had this story of from my parents to save, save, save. Not to invest, not to put your money into something else that's gonna give it a return. Put it in the bank save it and that's what I was told to do and taught to do it's not what I do that's that's for sure I, I don't I don't save money I try to put money back into me back into something else back into my kids um, and I financially and definitely not in a spot where my parents are at this point because of the way that I, I do it but <clears throat> we're told these different stories throughout our lives as we're growing up. Um, we're told that we're not, uh, I, I wasn't like straight up told that I can't do something, but the perception and the ideas based around these stories that we're told are what we turn into in our life. So like <clears throat> the idea that making money and having money for my parents was always, these people are assholes. They did something wrong to, to have, this, have this happen. It was never they were, they were just really good at what they did. So they made it happen. I also saw the way that my parents operated as a couple, as a, as a, as a married couple. 
and I see some of the things that my dad did and some of the things that my mom did and it comes back around to my own marriage with, with my wife <coughs> and this is based off from these stories that we were told that we saw that that I allowed to come inside of me <coughs> and, and those those stories <coughs> and those ideas chain us up they they hold us back from achieving bigger and better things in our lives because we have this story in our head you got to fucking try to break free from free from these stories a lot of times we're held back because of these stories within our head. We, we say we want something, but inside of our head, inside of our subconscious mind, we are held back. We are limited by our own thoughts and our own actions because of these old stories that we are telling ourselves. So there has to be a way where you fucking have to change that story. And it's not easy not easy at all I I still struggle with some of these stories and I don't by myself I don't know how to break these stories and that's why I have a mentor like the same thing happens in fitness all the time I, I have a mentor that's gonna help me break through these like fitness like we're told the media is feeding us this information of oh we got to eat this and eat this and we can't eat this because this and this and this and this but then come to find out a lot of this information is fueled by money this isn't good because media is pushing this this is a good because media is pushing this well when in all reality, reality, like this stuff is good, but there's a lot of marketing dollars behind something. So when there's a lot of marketing dollars behind something, it's going to get pushed. So we have to change these stories within our mind. And mo all of the time, we need a mentor to change these stories. We need a coach. We need somebody that's going to coach us through this, that has the skill and the capacity to help us change these stories within our mind. And this is exactly what I do. I help you change the story within your mind when it comes to fitness. When it comes to fitness and you need help, I'm here for you. Now, I want you to go ahead and connect with me. Go ahead and go to the description where you can connect with me right now. We'll talk. I'll lay out a plan for you. I'll help you out. So just go ahead and connect on Instagram, my personal Instagram, or Courageous Men Instagram, or you can join our private group, Habits of a Man. Or you can download, download our Lean and Fit Men's Playbook or even apply for our High Performer 16 Intensive. That's all you have to do. Connect with me now and remember to chase your fucking mission. I'll talk to you tomorrow.